Aeronautical Aluminum T6 6061 Aluminum. All right. Oh, whoa. Oh, no way. So I've seen a lot of Wish.com content here on YouTube lately. Now I've never bought anything from Wish.com prior to this video. And full disclosure, I knew nothing about Wish.com other than the fact that they offer cheap knockoffs to basically anything you can think of. So naturally I had the brilliant idea, well, what about EDC gear? So I went to Wish.com, ordered a couple items here, took about a month to come in, and well, now we're making this video. So. Let's go. So here's the stuff that I ordered from wish.com, five items. In this box, I have a wallet. In this box, I have a watch. Huh, I wonder where that was made. This one's pretty obvious. I ordered a Benchmade Osborne 940, a Microtech here. And in this box right here, I ordered a flashlight. So let's throw all this off to the side here. I'm gonna start with this wallet. And I sort of remember this because this looks exactly like a Dango A10 wallet. Yeah, so when I first saw this, I was like, oh man, I have to get this and compare this to an actual Dango A10 wallet. So let me put up on the screen the actual listing from wish.com. RFID metal card holder, wallet, men, business badge, credit card holder, small aviator, minimalist wallet for card man. Jeez. So I picked this up for about eight bucks and I'm super curious to see how the functionality is and how the cards sit in there. Um, obviously this is the Dango A10, the actual version made of aluminum. And you know what? I mean, I, I can barely tell the difference just holding these side by side. Meaning if I didn't know any better and this Dango logo wasn't in the corner, I probably couldn't tell the difference. So let me just do a quick card test here. This is the knockoff, look at that. Okay, it does have a very similar click. Yeah, it has a very similar click because it does have the notches here. You can see the notch right there, very similar to the actual Dango A10. So this is absolutely crazy, man. $8 I picked this up for. Um, let me just take a look at the backside. I'll give you a close up side by side here. I mean, just taking a look at this, I could barely see any differences. And let me give you a side by side comparison here of the actual plate side. And like I said, I barely see any differences here other than that Dango logo here on the corner. Um, I'm curious to see if it'll accept Dango's uh, pocket adapter here on the back side here. And <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it accepts the Dango pocket adapter. So this is absolutely nuts, man. It does feel like it has a much tighter fit in the legit Dango A10 than it does on the knockoff here. It actually feels just a little bit loose, but it still fits. And since it fits, I'm guessing it's gonna fit a card just fine. Uh, you know, I say this is nuts because these pirates, these guys out there stealing designs from actual manufacturers they're getting so good that even i can't tell the difference side by side other than the logo i can't tell the differences here and the next thing i picked up here made in china is a watch and what does it say it says charms charms now i'm going to put up on the screen here exactly what i bought it says nine dollars and 73 cents but I believe I paid $18 for the watch that I have here. It says new fashion men's watches, top luxury brand, men's watch, quartz watch, Urkek Sat Kurin, 8314. I have no idea what that means. So yeah, it does say Kurin here and the picture online is exactly this watch here. So at least I got that right. Um, comes in this bag here, feels okay. So, oh my God, this thing is absolutely gigantic. Now it makes me wonder if this watch is really only $9.73 and I paid 18 for it. They have it wrapped very sloppily in some, looks like some cellophane plastic here to protect the face. So let me take this off here. My God, how is it even? All right, let me just rip it right off. I don't care. It's just cheap cellophane feels like Reynolds wrap 
yeah, put this off to the side here. And um, I have a Timex chronograph standard right here, and you can see the size difference here. If I hold them up side by side, look at that. If I remember right, I think this is either a 41 or 42 millimeter. Um, I don't remember what this is. I'll put it on screen right now if I can find it on the wish.com website, just how big this face is because it's so much bigger. Um, but first impressions, man, it's, uh, it's actually not that bad. It's got this leather strap here. It's either pleather or genuine leather. I just don't know. Maybe it says here on this little tab and it does not. And I'll give you a close up of this face here. And to be honest, for 18 bucks, I'm sort of impressed. For $9, $9.73, I'd be even more impressed. But let me take a look at the back here. Uh, stainless steel back, unique design made in China, water resistant. Um, okay. And this is a chronograph, so you can see the chronograph buttons right there on the top and the bottom. It's got the little plastic tab in there. So let's do that, press it in, and let me see if I see any movement. Yeah, there we go. The second hand is moving now, so it does work. All right, so I just took a minute and slapped it on my wrist here. Check this bad boy out. So let me see if the chronograph works. I can't get the chronograph to work. Let me just double check something here. Yeah, I can't get the chronograph to work here at all. No matter what I do, just press it once. I don't know, maybe there's a fancy button press with these Chinese watches. If I hold it down, it's not working. This is usually the reset. And I can't get anything here to work. So yeah, that makes sense for an $18 watch from wish.com overall i think it looks nice um the leather here uh can't really tell what this is if it's pleather or genuine leather um but it once again it looks nice i guess that's the only thing i can say here is that it looks nice um i don't know if it's going to keep time well and i know the chronograph portion does not work so uh for 18 dollars this is what you get from Wish.com. Now I've been looking forward to these next two items the most, the two knives that I bought off of Wish. This is a Benchmade Osborne 940. Uh, the box looks legit, even right down to the sticker here that says 940 Osborne, everything on here. So this, man, this is just crazy. Like I said, I've never bought anything from Wish before and I had no idea that these knockoffs here how do they do this? I have no idea what's going on here. So look at this thing. This is absolutely insane. So look, it even has the little axis lock. Uh, what do you call this? This little insert that you get underneath the pocket clip here. Benchmade USA on the pocket clip. Let me put this off to the side. Um, okay. So check this out. So first off, Benchmade, they never made uh, handles like this this little carbon fiber and black handle, at least nothing like this on the Osborne 940. And take a look at the blade here. Now on the Wish website right here, it says Benchmade new 940 Osborne folding knife. It says S90V stone washing, ordinary blade, carbon fiber striped handle. And the other thing, uh, EDC spring assisted tactical folding knife has nothing to do with this. I think, I don't know what is up with these titles here, these descriptions, but they are way off. Um, I can tell you right now, for 14 bucks is what I picked this up for. This is not S90V steel. Look at this, it even has, focus here, it even has the Benchmade logo right there, and then the Osborne logo right there. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, look at this right there. It says S90V, absolutely not s90v for 14 bucks but uh whatever you say but this is the weird part these uh these sites are so weird the description here if i cycle down right there model 940 it gives all of the uh the handle length the blade width everything and then right there it says blade material d2 but then it also says blade edge serrated and this is not a serrated blade edge or a stonewash blade as it shows in the title, as you can see. Now, of course, I have an actual legit Benchmade Osborne 940 here. And if I hold these up side by side, you can see 
As a knockoff, it's not terrible, especially for only 14 bucks. This is one that I can definitely tell the difference between quality while I'm holding it in my hand. The actual Osborne 940 just feels so much better in the hand, especially with that actual aluminum handle here. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, let's see. Yeah, the action here is not the greatest, but what do you want for 14 bucks? And now let's check out the logo printing on this blade here. You can see the differences on the knockoff on the top and the actual Osborne right there on the bottom with the Benchmade logo. And then you can see the differences here with the Osborne logo. Now my Osborne is S30V. They're claiming this is S90V, which is uh, absolutely hilarious. But um, the blade shape to me looks exactly identical. On the actual Osborne 940, it just says Benchmade on the pocket clip and on the knockoff, it says Benchmade USA. The jimping looks exactly the same on the back, but the knockoff doesn't have that nice purple back spacer here. It just has a couple barrel spacers right there. Um, one in the middle and then one right at the tail end. But as soon as I got this in my hand, you can definitely tell this is a knockoff versus the actual Osborne 940. But to guys that aren't really knife guys, if you will, um, I can see how this could fool a few people. Yeah, it still blows my mind that these knockoffs are looking so similar than the actual versions. So I'm gonna put all this to the side. Now this one, I was really looking forward to this because I actually own zero Microtech. This is a Microtech Trodon Mini. And it's this a little, little holster with the <laughs> belt loop and everything. That's pretty cool. So check this out, man. Oh, wow. What did I pick this up for? I picked this up for $18.05, even though it says $10 right here on their page, EDC Tactical Spring Knife, Microtech Trodon Mini with Stonewash Blade, uh, California Legal OTF Automatic Knife, Black Hunting Camping 1.9, oh my God, this, their titles are ridiculous. But it shows $10 because you have to still pick the size and the color and which knife you want. So this one came out to be $18.05 and guys, Look at this. This is absolutely insane. Now, I don't have any legit Microtex to hold up side by side because they're highly illegal in New York State where I live. Almost every knife is highly illegal in this state, but especially an OTF like this, automatic. Um, so I wish I could, but man, for 18 bucks, you. You, I, I, I'm speechless. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. I have no idea how they can make this and sell it and ship it for only $18.05. I mean, in my hands, it feels pretty decent. It has some nice weight to it. I mean, that is aluminum. Um, this pocket clip is ass though. Yeah, this is a really super cheap pocket clip, but just even look at the print on that pocket clip. It looks very much like the print you would see on a legit Microtech. Has the glass breaker right here at the end, has the Microtech logo right here. Now you can see instantly that these are not tri-wing screws. These are, I believe they're a star bit or Allen. Um, I'm not really that concern. I'm not gonna look that close, but you can definitely see they are not tri-wing screws. But as you guys know, a legit Microtech is about 400 bucks, four, five, six hundred dollars, whatever. This is, 18 bucks. Uh, what is this steel supposed to be? Just says Combat Trodon DE. This is not a Combat Trodon. This is a Trodon Mini. <laughs> oh my God. So right here on the website under the description, it says blade material is D2, has the hardness, handle material, aeronautical aluminum, T6, 6061 aluminum. All right, oh, whoa. Oh, no way. Guys, I think this just broke right here on cam and this was feeling so nice and it legit just broke on me. All right, let me see if I can poke the blade back in because I don't want to grab it and have that thing shoot out on me. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. But what do you expect for $18? Here I am praising this thing and it <laughs> just broke right here on camera. Put some plastic or something over that blade. Let's see if I can, oh no. 
That's not going to work. You don't know those pliers or something. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to unscrew this later on and see if I can get this bad boy working again. But um, for $18, I was going to say that this was a steal at $18. Bucks, but um, since it just broke on me, I kind of want my money back. Now I have to be careful with this thing because I have that blade sticking out there. I'm going to accidentally stick myself with it. All right. The last thing I have here is flashlight. Okay, there we go. It looks like it comes with a uh, wall charger wrapped in very cheap plastic, very cheap case here. Now, there's a couple reasons why I picked this up and wanted to show it to you guys. Now, here's my order screen from Wish.com, and if I click on it, it unfortunately says that this item is no longer available, so I can't show you the actual specs. But real quick, on the bottom here it says black T6 only flashlight. And the reason why I bought this is because this is the lumen number right here. Uh, it's basically, if you can read all those zeros, it's 999 billion, 900 million lumens. And I said, okay, for $9.50, that is a steal. And then right here on the box, it says, yeah, it does have an 800 meter throw. So let's first off, see what kind of battery we're talking about here. So the battery here says kind of adapter in there. It's a 4,200 milliamp hour, 4.2 volt, 18, 650 battery. Uh, I don't have a ton of confidence in this 18650 here. So it is a tail switch operated light, XML-L2. Looks like it's a zoomable lens, but look at that lens here. I can tell you right off the bat, just with the shape of this lens, um, <laughs> that it's not going to have the best beam in the world. But if you guys have been curious to see what 999 billion lumens look like, cover your eyes. Wow. So that's got to be high. That has to be medium. Okay, maybe not high and medium. High, low, whoop, strobe and an SOS. And then it has this focusable beam here. And yeah, no. Uh, this part of the reason why I bought it just because of how funny these descriptions are on Wish and just how inaccurate they are. And actually in this little picture right here, I can see it says 1500 meters long range zoomable. 1500 meters, it says 800 meters here. So, um, yeah, this is easily, I would say, what, a $15, $20 flashlight on Amazon. You can pick it up here for $9.50. Um, would I carry this? Absolutely not. In fact, um, I don't get a good feeling from this at all. This is a super cheap feeling tail switch here. And honestly, the body doesn't feel terrible here. It has some knurling here at the tail end. Everything else is a smooth aluminum. It has somewhat of a crenellated bezel here. Oh, and looks like that crenellated bezel is super loose. Oh, wow, okay. So the lens just came right out. Now we can get a good look at that LED right there, that 999 billion lumen LED. Jeez, it's just, I, mean, I barely touched this thing and it came right off. All right, $9.50. Uh, what do you guys think of this thing? So guys, obviously I do not condone the purchase of any of these knockoffs here. Um, I wouldn't have bought anything on this table if it wasn't for making this video. And I actually think it's pretty garbage that this is all Wish sells on their website are these knockoffs taking money away from the actual companies. But at the same time, I can see the appeal to a website like Wish and AliExpress because not everybody out there has four or $500 to spend on a legit Microtech or 180 or $190 to spend on an Osborne 940. Does that make it right? Absolutely not. But once again, I can still see the appeal to this website. But I always say you get what you pay for. I paid $18 for this. It broke right here on camera. So in my opinion, they stole 18 bucks from me. Is this a 800 meter thrower that has 999 billion lumens? Absolutely not. And this $18 watch here looks decent. 
Um, I'm not expecting a Rolex or anything, but I expect it to work, and this chronograph feature just does not work on this watch. And I'm quite sure after a couple uses with this knockoff Osborne 940 here, the blade would probably break or the pivot would break or something would break on this knife here. So hopefully this video has shed some light on EDC gear from Wish.com. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the gear that I bought from Wish.com? It's absolute trash, but I think it made for a pretty decent video. Now, this is usually the part where I said, if you're interested in any of this gear, I'll put links down below in my description box, but I'm not gonna do that this time. In fact, I'm gonna put the links to the actual Dango A10 and Microtech Trodon Mini and Osborne 940 down below in my description box instead. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!